Hi there, I'm Peter Klein, Chairman of Greens here at Cranbourne Golf Club. Just here to show you how the works is coming along with our short game facility here. So as you can see, we're just finishing off now all the tidying up details. The green we've built here is enormous compared to what we used to have. It's about 35 metres long and 25 metres wide here versus a very small green we used to have. Um, we've built three bunkers around here. We've got a whole variety of shots which we'll now be able to play. So, for example, from this region here, because we've got such a long green, we can actually play some chip and runs, bump and runs, all the way up the full length of the green here. It's all going to blend into the hillside around here as well, so that everything you know, gives us a whole variety of different shots we can play. So if we start off on this side here, we've got our first bunker. That's a medium depth bunker we've created. We've created three different depth bunkers so we can practice the whole variety of shots here. Okay. So this first bunker here um, plays up the whole length of the green. So we can play short little bunker shots. We can actually play anything up to a 25, 30 metre bunker shot as well to a flag. It's something that we've never had before. If you come around this way now, so this area here is now going to be turf. We're going to have some cooch grass here. So we can also practice playing chip shots, flop shots over this bunker here. So we're trying to recreate the whole variety of shots and have a 360 degree area around this green that we can utilize then. So if we keep coming around this way, so all this area where I'm walking currently will all be turfed with cooch grass. So this bunker here, our first one, which is our medium height bunker, we'll be able to fit two or three golfers in here. We come to our second side bunker here. This is actually our deepest bunker. So this will simulate the right hand bunker on 17, front bunker on 14, uh, bunker on 16. Just some of our deeper bunker shots that we can practice as well. To either tight pins, medium pins or long pins as well. So we've got a whole variety of shots we can play from this bunker as well. If we keep coming further around now, we've recreated a, a hollow here just past the bunker which is supposed to simulate a little bit like the area alongside the fourth green. I don't know about you, but I often struggle to work out how to play that shot. So here we've tried to make a little hollow, a little bit similar to what we've got by the fourth. So if you want to practice putting up the hill, chipping it, bumping and running it, we're basically trying to create as many different shots as we face on our golf course here. We try and make it very relevant so we can practice the sort of shots that we face at Cranbourne. We then come further around here. We've created quite a large area here which never used to exist, which is going to be turf. Okay, so this is all below the height of the green. A lot of the Cranbourne greens, the greens have been built by push-up style and they're elevated above us. So now we'll be able to play shots up to 30 metres where the green is above us. So if we think of, for example, the 11th hole, the 8th hole, 3rd hole, those sort of shots where we're playing from below the green up to it and a good length shot we can play as well. And then finally we've got our final bunker over there uh, which is actually going to be our shallowest bunker then and again we can play tight pins, a whole variety of different length shots in that bunker. So the green's been built with a whole lot of irrigation heads around it, it's got subsurface drainage, we've got 100 mils of gravel base on top and then 300 mils of sand over the top. Uh, we're going to be seeding this with bent grass and eventually over time it'll become like a lot of the greens on the course, not that we'll be using it to putt with. Uh, this is all going to then blend through to the net and obviously the pathway to the new practice tee as well. Uh, we've created an area up there as well where we're going to be slightly above the green. It doesn't necessarily simulate a lot of shots that we get at Cranbourne, but we think it's important to provide our members with other shots that you face around other courses as well so we can practice all of that. So I think all in all, we've created a facility hopefully that allows us to play just about every shot in golf to practice as well. So we hope it'll be a lot more interesting and exciting to use. And then with the new practice tee as well, hopefully practicing your golf game will be a very enjoyable experience now at Cranbourne Golf Club. Thank you.